Hey guys, Raja here once again and welcome to my session. So today I'm going to talk about one of the most demanding and interesting topic in the market, which is automated SharePoint workflow migration tool, which can migrate both SharePoint designer workflows as well as built-in SharePoint workflows to Power Automate. Now this session is even more critical to all, considering the fact that unfortunately at this point of time, there is no third party SharePoint workflow migration tool is available in the global market, which can migrate both SharePoint designer as well as built in workflow to Power Automate. Even Microsoft also has no plan to come up with any such SharePoint workflow migration tool in near future as well. Now, before we directly jump to the uh, uh, live demo of the SharePoint workflow migration tool, let me just quickly share my screen and let me quickly talk about some of the very, very critical points over here. So, so let, us, let us first quickly understand the current situation. Now, by now, you, you all must be knowing the fact that SharePoint 2010 workflows have already been turned off for both newly created SharePoint tenants as well as existing SharePoint online tenants, which means we, we won't be able to run or create SharePoint 2010 workflows for Sh SharePoint online tenants. Therefore, the immediate impact is on both SharePoint 2010 designer workflows as well as uh, on the uh, built-in SharePoint workflows. So when I said built-in SharePoint workflows, I'm specifically talking about five out, out of the box workflows available in SharePoint, which is the approval workflow, collect, collect feedback workflow, collect signature workflow, uh, publishing approval workflow, as well as the three-state workflow. Even creation of new SharePoint 2013 designer workflows have already been blocked on new SharePoint online tenants. However, for existing tenants, SharePoint 2013 workflows are going to be remain supported. Now, the immediate question that comes to our mind is that how client will be impacted because of this particular change. Now, this is absolutely true that clients were not properly warned about the workflows retirement. And there are a lot of SharePoint online tenants who are running thousands of SharePoint 2010 workflows and have no direct path of quick replacement. Even many clients do not have enough time and resources available to replace the existing workflows into Power Automate. Now, the next question comes to our mind, like what are the options available to migrate the SharePoint workflows? Now, as per Microsoft direction for Office 365, as there is no third party workflow migration tool is available in the global market, we are currently left with only one option, which is recreating the workflows directly in Power Automate. However, that is also very, very challenging and time consuming because of future differences. So what I wanted to mean that not all SharePoint 2010 designer workflow actions have direct replacement in Power Automate. Therefore, comprehensive discovery as well as planning will be required before going to Power Automate migration. Now, again, one of the biggest questions that comes to our mind that uh, whether there is av any availability of third party workflow migration tool. Now, as I already said, unfortunately, the answer is no, as there is no third party workflow migration tool available in the global market. Even Microsoft also has no plan to come up with any such workflow migration tool in near future. Therefore, as already mentioned, we are left with only one option, which is recreation of the workflows in Power Automate. And creation of this workflow is extremely time consuming and challenging because of the feature differences. And also it involves a lot of cost. So the, the ultimate question that comes to our mind what then what is the way forward? So don't we have any options available? Now in this regard, I'm happy to inform you all that IBM has created a SharePoint workflow migration tool, which has the inbuilt capability to migrate both SharePoint designer as well as built-in SharePoint workflows to Power Automate. And therefore it can save significant effort, cost and time. 
and also can enhance migration accuracy. Not only that, this can certainly be a real value proposition to the client in terms of both cost, effort, and time. Now, as you can see on the screen, so this is how the SharePoint migration tool generally works. Now, this migration tool is intelligent enough to automatically connect to the uh, SharePoint designer workflow, and it can automatically read all the SharePoint actions, workflow actions, conditions, as well as triggers, and it can automatically create the tar target workflow structure in Power Automate accurately. <coughs> Sorry. And also, in this regard, I would, I would like to highlight one more very, very critical feature of this particular tool, which is uh, which is the bulk creation of the workflows. Now, what I'm trying to convey here that if there is a requirement to create, let's say, 100 different approval workflows against a uh, different list or library, then using this particular tool, we can create all those workflows at one go. And then if required, then minor mo manual modification can be done later on. Now, now, in this particular slide, we'll talk about the workflow migration accuracy. Now, before I actually jump in this particular topic, I would like to highlight here that this is the very first release of this SharePoint workflow migration tool. And we are also working currently to for the subsequent releases. Now, for the first release, what we have done, we have uh, broken the entire workflow complexity into three different category. One is the simple, one is the medium, and one is the highly high complex. <coughs> For simple, we are expecting the migration accuracy around 90%, and we are expecting around 10% of manual activity, which includes a testing. For medium complexity, we are expecting 79, around 79% of the migration accuracy, and expecting around 21% manual activity, which includes testing. And for high complexity, we are expecting around 70% of migration accuracy, and expecting around 30% uh, of uh, manual activity, which includes your comprehensive testing. Now, without uh, for the interest of time, without wasting any further time, I would like to directly, I would like to go to the live demo of the migration tool. Hope you will enjoy. Now, as you can see over here, uh, so this is the very first screen that will be uh, displayed in, in front of you if you are using this tool for the very first time. Now, before we actually, before I actually start using the tool, let me just quickly open the uh, the SharePoint designer workflows and let me just quickly uh, show you the uh, the workflows that I'm going to migrate using this particular tool. Now, uh, now, as you can see over here in this particular SharePoint designer workflow, I can see uh, five different SharePoint uh, uh, 2010 designer workflows have been created. As you can see the name over there, like sequent test, uh, the, uh, the only if without else, then invoice processing, then approval test, then multiple if else, right? Now, what I'm going to do using this uh, migration tool, I'm going to migrate all this SharePoint 2010 version of designer workflow to Power Automate. Now I'm going back to my workflow uh, workflow screen. Now, as you can see in the initial screen, I can see uh, two different version, uh, two different uh, rather inputs. One is the version workflow version and, and what is the workflow type. Now, as you can see, as you know that uh, we can have either SharePoint 2010 version of the workflow as well as SharePoint 2010 version of the workflow. So for this particular demo, I'm planning to migrate SharePoint 2010 version of the designer workflow to Power Automate. So I'm selecting the option called SharePoint 2010. Similarly, in the workflow type, we can have either SharePoint designer workflow as well as out of the box workflow. Now for this particular demo, I'm planning to migrate the SharePoint designer workflow. So I'm selecting that option. And I'm just clicking up on the button called take me to the migration screen so that I can initiate the migration. So once I click and click on this button, I can see the another screen, which is basically the migration initiation screen. Here, I I, uh, I need to enter a few details, like for example, the tenant admin, the domain, the Office 65 credential, client ID, environment URL. Believe me, it will not take more than two to three minutes of time, and this is going to be a one-time activity, right? So for the interest of time, I've already fed in the data. But if you are using the tool for the very first time, then only you need to enter the data and the, for the subsequent run of the tool, it will automatically save the data. You do not need to enter any anymore. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to click on the migrate workflows and it will automatically migrate all the designer workflow to Power Automate. And I can see the live migration pro uh, progress over here. So 
so i'm just clicking okay one more option over here now once the migration is completed we will be able to see uh, both all the successful migration as well as failed migration right because you never know in the real life migration there might be situation where because of certain reason some workflow migration might fail right so so we have designed the screen in such a way so that we can see both the successful migration de details as well as the failed migration details and that's it that's that's that is why i have deliberately make some changes in one of the workflow so that that workflow migration get failed so i'm just starting the migrate workflow button as you can see the migration has started and i can see the live migration progress and i can see the uh, the migration uh, live migration changing see the workflow migration changing automatically and it's it's very first as you can see five a uh, workflow has been migrated in fact four uh, workflow has been migrated successfully and what got one got failed as i said just one minutes back that i have deliberately make some changes in one one of the workflows so that uh, i i can show you both successful migration as well as the failed migration anyway i can see the four different uh, workflows which which have been migrated successfully like approval test then a sequence test invoice processing as well as uh, multi fills so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, going to open the power automate and, and so that i can show you live that uh, whether this workflow have been created in power automate or not so i'm going i'm opening the my power automate screen so i'm just opening flow.microsoft.com so it might take some time yes now as you can see if you are creating the workflow dynamically using uh, uh, using code or programmatically then those workflows will be available under solution so i'm i'm going to click on solutions within that i'll 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 get another another option called default solution so it will come shortly yeah default solution and let me just open all the all the workflow one by one i mean to say all the workflows which have been migrated so the first workflow name was i believe approval underscore test so let me see uh, this workflow have been migrated successfully to power automate see i could see uh, one minute back this workflow has been created so let me click on edit just to quickly see that whether the replica of the share, that sharepoint workflow has been created in power automate or not fantastic i could see see the entire workflow structure has been created successfully so let me quickly go back to another workflow i believe uh, another workflow was something name around uh, uh, sequence right uh, a sequence test something like that so let me quickly open a sequence test underscore one test underscore one see i could see this workflow also created two minutes back so similar to the first one let me just quickly okay so probably i need to go back solution and run it once again let me go back yes a sequence underscore one this is the one yes this is created two minutes back let me click on edit let me see whether this has been properly created or not fantastic i could see this is also created as i can see let me go to, go back to another one uh, i have created another workflow which is the multiple if else right there were uh, around seven to eight workflow uh, if else condition was there in the workflow so let me see that is also created or not see multiple if else uh, 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 basically uh, what have, what we have done basically we have transformed multiple if else into switch cases in power automate so let me see multiple if else sorry it's i think multi if else i think the name is multi if else yes i could see this is created 3 uh, minutes back so let me click on edit <coughs> see this is successfully created as i said uh, this has, has this workflow has multiple if else condition so what we have done we have transformed those multiple if, if else into switch condition see if i expand the switch you will be able to see all the cases 
this is the case one under which these are the actions this is case two under which there is another action case three right there are multiple actions case four similar so the exact replica of the workflow has been created over here in power automate right so so that's all for my end right so i hope you enjoy this particular session because this is a quite unique one and as i mentioned no vendor in the world has this kind of shapon workflow migration tool so if you have any query if you have any questions uh, please drop me a mail or you can directly call me my phone number as well as uh, my email id is mentioned in my linkedin id so uh, so you, you can contact me thank you very much have a nice day to you all